stereotactic body radiation, SBRT, or stereotactic ablative radiation, SABR, can be used, um, of course, in prostate cancer, definitive prostate cancer, as well as increasingly more in the metastatic space as metastasis-directed therapy, or MDT. I would say from the meeting, the most exciting uh, new data uh, is from the PACE series of trials. There was um, a report of the PACE trial looking at um, head-to-head uh, SABR or SBRT prostate cancer treatment versus radical prostatectomy. And the upshot is that um, we don't have the outcomes data, and that's you know requires more maturation. But what we found is you know kind of what we expect is that um, with surgery, um, as is true of historical trials and retrospective data, we saw more uh, urinary issues with regards to incontinence, and then with saber uh, primary treatment or stereotactic primary treatment we saw more GI toxicity. <clears throat> and so it really will be uh, just has, has been for the last few years, a discussion between the provider and the patient on um, the benefits and the risks of surgery versus now we, I think uh, SABR or SBRT primary prostate treatment has, has really become a standard of care in many places. And so it'll be a discussion between again, the patient and the provider on those um, differences in toxicity uh, for each individual patient. But the, the upshot is we have, again, great options for those localized prostate cancer patients, whether it be surgery or now um, SBRT primary treatment.